G'day, this is Simon from the Bracketeer at I think our busiest South OC cars and coffee yet. Crazy, crazy busy, so many amazing cars, so many amazing hot rods. Uh, Crystal Cove, another famous car show that takes place up PCH was closed down this morning. I think we got a lot of their people who showed up here this morning as well. Hey, don't forget if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. If it's on our website, there's also a subscribe link there. That way you're gonna get the latest videos before anybody else gets to see them. So make sure to do that as well. So as I said, great morning, great weather. Let's go for a walk and check it all out. You know, it was only a matter of time before we started seeing some cool aftermarket parts for the new Supra. Check this wide body kit out on this thing. It looks incredible. The, uh, the owner said to me this morning as he brought it in, he really likes wide bodies. And I'll tell you what, this one is actually done really well. It's integrated really well into the car. The thing looks mean. I mean, it's, it's got a great stance. I typically am not someone who gravitates towards wide body kits, but this actually is really, really well done. It, it looks like it belongs in there. Completely changes the personality of this uh, Supra. Very nicely done. Sorry, great looking truck, I just walked past there, check it out, it's actually got a Coyote in there running the new Whipple supercharger on it, so this engine's probably good for around about 700 horsepower, I would be guessing, but really nicely done, nice, nice looking seats in it as well, harnesses, always good to see a good looking truck, and this is certainly one of them, nicely done.
Hey, check this out. Really nicely done Jeep. Looking really, really neat. Love that uh, bed liner finish on it in that uh, khaki green. Nice interior. Nice looking wheels. Really, really well done. Big suspension. Very cool. Not over the top, but uh, looks really nice. So we've seen this show at Jupiter, actually the, the other car that, that our friend here owns at the show previously and made a car of the week, a red one. But this was the car a number of years ago and you were just saying, tell us who owned the car when you went to do the, get it registered? My older brother owned it 46 years before I bought it so, And you didn't know that he owned it before you found it. Isn't that great? So these are the great sort of stories we get at Cars and Coffee. Wow, this is pretty, really, really clean, uh, patchy, nicely done. Running small block. Great color too. So done back to, uh, to factory specs by the look. Really nicely done. So I saw and heard this thing come in, it's really cool. Love the fact that uh, this air cleaner is where the headlights used to be, <laughs> running a small block Chev. Um, this is really cool. I, I don't want to show you too much about this Magnaflow muffler there. So uh, Rich Waiters, if you're watching us, there's your product. Um, this is really cool. I think this may just be uh, the car of the week contender.
so over in the front of uh, Rockwell Road, we always get some good cars. This is one of them. This belongs to one of our regulars. Uh, not actually a 396, much bigger motor than that. One of the best sounding cars ever to come here. This thing is all motor, running on E85. It is super, super cool. There's also another car in this row I want you to see. Check this out. This is a uh, Corvette, obviously set up for racing. So it's a 63 production roadster designed for designed for um, obviously the track and it's um, it's obviously the real deal. This is not something that somebody's made up or mocked up. This actually began its career racing in 1968. So if I didn't have that other car we just saw, the hot rod for the car of the week, this would be the one. How great is this? I bet this, this thing could tell some stories. So hopefully we'll bring it back again. Check out some motorcycles. Another week of South OC Cars and Coffee. How great was this turnout? Tons of cars, most people behave well, which is always great as well. Big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente for allowing us to be here. To Ruby's and Rockwell's for the coffee and the donuts. Love you guys, thank you so much. To all of our volunteers, we could not do this without you. Thank you so much for everything you do. To our sponsors, Maguire's, Next Level Detailing, um, Motatory, and of course the new one, Polestar as well. Thanks so much for coming on board. Uh, what a great week, as I said. Don't forget to subscribe. There is a subscribe button below if you're watching on YouTube, or there's also one if you look below on the website as well. Have a great week. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.